Mid-American Conference Media Day 2015 is in the books from Ford Field here in Detroit. Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Godet. Welcome back to Ball State All Access and BallStateSports.com. Toledo picked to win the MAC West, Bowling Green the MAC East. Toledo picked preseason to win the Mid-American Conference Championship game. The Cardinals picked fourth in the MAC West preseason, but for head coach Pete Lembo and his team, that's all this is at this point. It's just a preseason poll. It doesn't have a bearing on the outcome of the year. We talked about that and several other things with the Cardinals head coach. We caught up with him here at Ford Field. Take a look. You could use that as a motivator. And uh, uh, at the same time, we try to focus on what we can control. And, and that is clearly something you don't control. Yeah. So from a, from a program philosophy and in terms of how we, we coach the guys every day, we don't worry about that stuff. I really like the work ethic of this group. I really like the chemistry of this group. Uh, there's some good leaders in this group. We need to keep uh, developing more and more of those guys throughout all the classes on our program. Our freshmen came in and were very low maintenance, and that is a really good thing. Uh, you like to have those freshmen on campus and, and watch it go seamlessly for those four or five weeks, and, uh, and that's exactly what it did. So very, very pleased with where we're at right now. We know we've got a, a tough road ahead of us, a very difficult schedule. But first things first, it's about the month of August. It's about preseason camp. It's about uh, making the, the most of those 29 practices leading up to that first game. I like to have a lot of guys on that depth chart because I like to encourage competition during preseason. And uh, competition makes everybody better. And the great ones love competition. Yeah. Um, and, and so the more guys that we can get in the mix and evaluate, whether it's in the spring or in preseason, the better it's going to make our football team. Both Joey and Kevin had big shoes to fill. And for Joey, at least he had been here. Um, I think one of, the, one of the big things for Joey is just to be himself. I don't want him to be Rich Skrowski. And our team evolves, our team changes, the personnel changes. He's got to be himself, and he's got to do uh, things in a way that he's comfortable with. He learned a tremendous amount from Rich, and he is very well prepared um, to do his own thing now. Maturity, that would be the first thing that, uh, that comes to my mind, uh, embracing the position, um, not needing to be everybody's buddy. You know, sometimes when you're a younger guy and you're trying to establish yourself in the program, you know, you, you want to connect with everybody. I think Jack is in much more of a position now where he's got enough friends. He knows he's got a job to do, and he knows he needs to do that job well. He took a, a real uh, leadership role in our winter program. Uh, he had a great spring, uh, a very good spring game, 21 to 26, a couple touchdowns, and and really came out there and ran the show the way you'd want a quarterback to do that. And I don't just look at Jack. I look at the guys around Jack. And you can just tell from Jake Richard on down, Jake being probably our most experienced player, uh, that they have a lot of confidence in Jack. Uh, we need more productivity out of our defensive line. We, we did not generate a great pass rush with that group last year. We did not create a lot of negative plays um, compared to uh, a year before when you had guys like Nate Ollie and John Newsom. So uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit more of that this year. I like uh, how the defensive line is coming along. Uh, I do think that uh, a, an eligible Josh Posley after sitting out a year as a transfer will definitely help us. Uh, Mike Ayers has had uh, a very good offseason. Uh, you look inside, uh, Darnell Smith is going to give you everything he's got every down. <laughs>